<laughs> hey guys welcome back today we're going to burn on canvas with our 60 watt laser all right so we've spray painted canvases before the laser on i've done these the same way um, there's three colors underneath and then the black uh, we just wanted to test and see how it worked on the canvas on the 60 watt so we'll do a power scale first to see where we need to do our settings and then we'll do a picture uh, so this is light burn. This is the same great uh, power scale we use for each of our tests. Uh, it's got the grayscale and then our settings to see where we want it. And uh, we're just going to burn it real quick and see how it does. All right, so this was our first test. We forgot to speed it up and you can see that it cut through everywhere. So next we did this one and we sped it up a little bit, but then we sped it up even more up here trying to get a better range. Um, and I think what we're gonna go with is uh, about 400 millimeters a second and a max of 60% power. So we've got our picture here in Lightburn. Uh, we processed this in GIMP uh, for the canvas, so it is inverted. So our speed we are going to go with is 400. All right, so there's our preview of the picture. All right, so it's showing us it's gonna take about an hour and a half, but we're gonna go ahead and burn it and We'll, we'll record some of it so we can see how it does. All right, so this is what turned out. Uh, you can see we had lots of problems, burned clear through here. All of this brown or black is actually burning through all of the paint and hitting the canvas. So we went back to the drawing board. Um, and I went ahead and did just on a flat piece, uh, two really heavy coats of white and then two coats of black on top of that. And uh, this was testing it again. It's actually looking a little bit better than the original testing. Um, and I did a few different areas here. This is just way too fast, which is what I was doing there. So I've adjusted the DPI and the speed and got it down to where, and a lot of reading, a lot of reading. Um, and this is obviously gonna change depending on what laser you have, but I'm down to 400 DPI, but what I ended up having to do is slow down the laser a lot. And that is because the power supply is going to have a certain speed that it can shut on and off, and since you're doing just a bunch of little dots, if you're running that too fast, it's gonna gap your dots more and more and more. But if you go slow enough, it'll cover everything. So that's something you're gonna to have to practice. Like right here, essentially what I'm doing is I am adjusting the speed on each of these as well as the power percentage to get it to where it's a more cohesive picture. And what we're going to do is we're going to try the whole picture now and we will come back and see what that looks like.
All right, so here we are finished. Let's take a look. All right. All right, so first, I did run this twice. And this is all gonna be chalked up to my, I haven't done this in a, in a goodness, maybe a couple of years at this point, done a painted canvas. Um, and definitely not on this machine yet. So I haven't painted these in a while and my painting was super inconsistent and that's the first problem. So the first burn we went over on it, it basically only did about this much of it, which tells me I went way too heavy around the edges. Most likely what I did is I painted all in this direction and then I painted again in this direction. And then there's a decent chance I went around the edge again. And that means that actually the edge has three layers, everything else only has two. So it's probably 100% my fault. But we can definitely see that in the good spots, like this is the spot in the middle, and it went through all of the white and burned it. Those are the real white spots. But down here you can see we definitely got all the details that we wanted, and that's where it started to finally go through. So I think if I didn't mess up, on the painting this would turn out great and what it ends up being setting wise is 150 millimeters a second 30 percent power max and 10 percent on on the bottom end now that may have been a little too high we probably could have adjusted that down to get more blacks because it is burning on all the blacks but that's something that uh, is going to take a whole lot more testing but it's definitely possible it looks okay it's not the best it would definitely dial that in and make it look really good but this is something that's going to be different from one laser to the next just like it's different from our diode to our k40 to now this machine it's all different settings it's all different dpi and of course it's turned out different and i've gone through a lot of different canvases trying to figure out what each machine runs really well so take good notes and uh, you know, just continue on testing it out and eventually you'll get those settings dialed in great and you will have an awesome picture. Just wanted to thank you guys for coming and watching the video. Don't forget, uh, like and subscribe. If you have any questions, let us know. Monport always has sales going on during holidays and uh, outside of holidays, so I'm not sure when you're watching this video, but take a look on their website. And don't forget our discount code, it's in the comments. Thanks guys, and we'll see you next time.